treat your spine to a Corrigo chair and change the way you sit for good. To ensure you get the most out of your product, please follow this short video, which will guide you through the many features included. Recommended by Harley Street physiotherapists, our chairs encourage good posture, undoing years of damage caused by sitting incorrectly, whilst allowing freedom of movement. Before setting up your Libero chair, ensure that you are sat back in the seat rather than perching on the front. To begin, we will adjust the height of your seat. Use the lever under the chair to adjust the height. To lower, sit down and pull the lever up. To raise, stand up and pull the lever. Ensure that your hips are slightly above your knees and that both of your feet are flat on the floor. The next step is your seat depth. To adjust, push the lever under the right of the seat and slide the seat back and forth. Leave a two or three finger gap between your legs and the front of the seat. Now it's time to concentrate on your backrest. To adjust, simply slide the backrest upwards until it is supporting your lower back. If you need to lower the backrest, raise it to its highest setting to allow it to fall to its lowest point. Lift back up to place at your required height. At the correct height, the backrest will cradle your spine all the way up, encouraging an open-chested, upright posture and discouraging a slouch. Broader back chairs tend to push you forward into a slouch. If you feel that you require additional lumbar support, use the pump located behind the chair to inflate. To deflate, press the valve on the pump. Be sure not to overinflate the lumbar support. Adjust the backrest angle to suit your posture requirements with a more forward angle for those who tend to sit forward or further back. The backrest angle can be further adjusted by lifting the lever and leaning back until you reach a comfortable angle. Lower the lever to lock into place. If you prefer the backrest to move freely, leave the lever in the upright position. When using the free float option, you can adjust the tension to increase or decrease the amount of pressure needed to move the backrest. Pull the lever out and turn clockwise to increase the tension or anti-clockwise to decrease. Note that if you wish to reset the angle, the chair's anti-kick feature requires you to lift the lever and lean back on the backrest to release it from its current position. At this point, you may also change the angle of your seat if you wish. To do so, raise the lever into the upright position and pull the notch out for a downward tilt or push it in for a horizontal seat. Lean back on the chair until you hear a click to confirm the change. To set, push the lever down again. This may alter the position of your backrest. Simply use the big wheel under the backrest to readjust the position you prefer. Next, we'll adjust the armrests to suit your body. To adjust the height of the armrest, simply lift up the stem for ratchet arm adjustment. To lower, bring the armrest to its maximum height to release the ratchet. It will now fall to its lowest setting. Lift slowly back up to your desired setting. If you require the armrests to be further from or nearer to you, press the button on the inside of the armrest and slide in or out to the correct width and depth. The arm pads can also be rotated for your comfort. Your armrests should now be set correctly. Ensure that when relaxed, your arms are bent at 90 degrees at the elbow and that your shoulders are not hunched. The armrests should be in line with your desk. You may need to quickly alter the height of your chair in order to achieve this. Finally, adjust your headrest to a position that is comfortable for you, with your chin gently tucked in and your neck relaxed. Each of our chairs include a card to record your settings on. If you share your chair, you can easily revert back to your preferred settings. Bring your chair close into your desk. Your arms should be level with your keyboard and your eyes should be level with the top of your monitor. Your feet should be flat on the floor. 
You may need to adjust the height of your desk if you are able to do so, or alternatively, use products such as a footstool or screen raiser. Congratulations, your chair is now set up and your back is grateful.